Welcome back, guys. My name is Patrick. You're watching the Oilers Rundown. Looks like Leon Dreisaitl will officially be in the lineup today. He said yesterday he was going to see how he feels. Jay Woodcroft says he's completely ready to go. So look officially to see Leon Dreisaitl back in the lineup tonight against the Seattle Kraken. And another player that looks very close to returning to the lineup, Evander Kane. He was on the ice skating this morning. Jay Woodcroft says he's still week to week, but... Week to week is obviously a hell of a lot better than month to month. He was doing some work with the skills coaches today, some fitness training. Kane has been on the ice for most of this whole process, so probably just some fine-tuning, getting himself back up to game speed, stuff like that. So like I said, Kane is still week to week, but I think we are going to see him here back with the Oilers before the end of January. It's been quite a while since we heard anything regarding Oscar Clefbaum, and Mark Spector of Sportsnet provided us this update today. Chatted with Adam Larson who met old friend Oscar Clefbaum this summer, says Oscar's mental health is well, and he's wrapping his head around life after hockey. Doing a lot of fishing around Karlstad, building a house. So anyone holding on to the hope that Clefbaum could still possibly be coming back, his hockey career looks to be over, unfortunately. We'd all love to have Clefbaum back on the Oilers. What a difference it could have made having Clefbaum in our top pairing, Darnell Nurse in the second pairing. I can tell you Darnell Nurse wouldn't be earning $9.25 million right now, and the Oilers' defense would look so much better. But unfortunately, it looks like Clefbaum is done, and I imagine we get an official retirement notice this summer after his contract expires. And one other note of interest, the Detroit Red Wings have placed forward Jacob Verona on waivers today. Verona is signed for this year and next at a $5.25 million cap it. He's an excellent forward. He would definitely help the Oilers. There's really no way they could claim him off waivers. They just don't have the cap space to do so. But let's keep an eye on this. Verano was in the substance abuse program, so this could just be tied to that. The Red Wings possibly wanting to send him to the AHL for conditioning or to play some games down there. Don't really know the whole story there. But if it is related to a trade, the Red Wings could just be putting Verano on waivers to see if someone will claim him, take his full cap hit. And if not, then possibly a deal could be worked out we know the Detroit Red Wings had interest in Yessi Pugliarvi. Somebody like that would have to go for the Oilers to somehow make the money work. Probably a bit of a long shot guess there, but we'll see what happens here over the next 24 hours with Verana. And I'm sure Red Wings GM Steve Eisman will shed more light on the situation overall. I think that's all for now, guys. But it looks like Stuart Skinner will get the start tonight against the Seattle Kraken. Here's a look at the potential lineup for the Oilers tonight. They take on the Kraken at 7 p.m and I will be back with the Fanatic Rundown following the game. Let me know your thoughts on everything in the comment section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan. Take care, guys. I'll see you tonight.